All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about nucleic acids, which is the next macromolecule that we're going to be worried about. So nucleic acids, their function is going to be storing and transmitting hereditary information. And it's going to come in two forms. You've got DNA and RNA. So DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. So DNA is going to be like the blueprints of whatever you are. So um, basically, it's going to have all your genes. And then um, RNA is going to be how we can actually make that DNA into something physical in the form of proteins. So we've got chapters we'll spend on that later, but that's the basics of it all. So um, as we know, <clears throat> each of these guys are going to have repeating subunits, right? So for the uh, nucleic acids, the building blocks are going to be nucleotides. So going back to our little drawing, right? If we have our um, OH on this side, and then we've got this and this and this, and then our H, <clears throat> these building blocks are going to be <laughs> this is going to be hard to fit. Nucleotides. And same here, I'm going to just put nucleotide. And I'm just going to put that. Um, and then we're going to have that special name for the bond between them. And this one's going to be a long one. It's going to be a phosphodiester bond. And that's the special name for the bond that's going to be between nucleotides, okay? So, <clears throat> um, nucleotides themselves are going to be the building blocks, and they're going to be composed of 5-carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. So I'll show you here. Uh, there we go. So you've got your phosphate group, your 5-carbon sugar right here, and then your nitrogenous base. So if you look... The 5-carbon sugar and the phosphate group are going to be constant here. The only thing that's going to vary is going to be that nitrogenous base. So the nitrogenous base can either be what's called a purine or a pyrimidine. And if I move down here, here we go. So we've got the pyrimidines here on the top. And the... Maggie! Sorry, my dog is playing with the loudest toy. Um, and the purines down here on the bottom. Come here, girl. Come here. Okay, so um, the pyrimidines, you can see they have a single ring, and the purines are going to have a double ring, okay? So that's kind of how you can tell the difference. So as far as pyrimidines go, you can have cytosine, thymine, and uracil, and the purines are going to be adenine and guanine. So um, one thing that you'll notice up here is in the pyrimidines is DNA is the only one that can have thymine, and RNA is the only one that can have uracil. I am so... Maggie, come here. Stop. Um, so that's going to be a difference between DNA and RNA, is that DNA is going to only be the only one that can have thymine, and uracil is only found in RNA. Okay, so let's go back to the notes. <clears throat> We've talked about the two types of nitrogenous bases. Now let's talk about the differences between DNA and RNA. So I already said this first one, right? Uracil you only find in RNA. Thiamine you only find in DNA. Um, the second difference is going to be the name of the sugar. In um, RNA, it's called ribose. And in DNA, it's called deoxyribose. And then the last difference is that RNA is going to be single-stranded, whereas DNA is going to be double-stranded. And that's why you always see DNA it looks like a twisted ladder, which is called a double helix. Okay, so that's going to be nucleotides um, and, and nucleic acids. If, oops, sorry, I don't know why that just jumped like that. Um, if we go a little bit further, there are going to be um, some other types of nucleotide molecules that are going to be really important when we get into these later. One of them is going to be ATP, and that's what we use for energy in the cell. And then GTP stands for guanosine triphosphate, and that's going to be a less common example that's similar to that. And so we're going to get into those in a little bit later chapters when we start talking about energy and how that works. All right.